Hello everybody, this is the very first episode of Boba's Bricks and today we will be showing you our Lego Star Wars collection. So what our YouTube channel is going to be is going to be just about Lego Star Wars and just a bunch of Lego Star Wars videos. Maybe we'll have an army video every now and then and a haul video and maybe yearly a collection video like we're doing right now to start off a YouTube channel. And I want YouTube to be my hobby because Lego is my hobby and creating videos is my hobby. I've been making videos since I was 8 years old. I'm not going to show you these videos because they're very bad. Like this one. Yeah, we're going to jump right into our collection. This is where our larger sets are, as you might have seen in the background from the first portion of the video. Um, we're going to start away from the top and work our way down to the right and then go to the left and then we'll jump into our smaller sets and medium scale sets in a second. It's from Millennium Falcon. I would totally recommend buying this. It's a very cool set. This is the Resistance Bomber. It's a very cool set. You can buy this for $110. This is the X-Wing Starfighter, and you can buy this for $80 at Walmart or Target. This is Poe Dameron's X-Wing Starfighter. When it was retailed, it was about $60 or $70. can't remember. This is Kylo Ren's Advanced TIE, TIE Fighter. A uh, very cool set. This is the... TIE Fighter from Solo, A Star Wars Story, and is a, probably the best TIE Fighter that LEGO's ever come out with. It just looks so cool, and all the new updated pieces look very great on it. And then these minifigures, especially this one right here, that have the camera on, it is such a good minifigure. He looks, he looks so great. All the little detail printing on him, it just looks amazing. Totally recommend buying that one. It also goes very well hand in hand with the X Wing, so you could, like, you know, swoosh them around and, like, make them fight or something. This is the TIE Striker from Rogue One A Star Wars Story. This is a very cool set. And these are all of our little mini and micro fighter sets. Um, these little smaller ones from that right there all the way down are from the 2018 LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar. There's our brick head right there, or only brick head. Um, our Darth Vader. Then we have this poly bag AT hauler. And then the rest of these are just miscellaneous micro fighters. Obviously, that one right there, the Y Wing, that came in the book right behind it. And that book has a bunch of different little build things you can do. And I might be reviewing that on my channel. These are our smaller sets like I mentioned before. Um, this portion of the video might be a little while. This is Yoda's hut. This is Octo Island training. Um, it It is pretty, pretty much the same compared to Yoda's hut. Um, if you had to buy one or the other, like, if you went to Target or something, you have, like, say like $30. If you had to buy one, I would buy Yoda's Hut just because of the minifigures. I mean like Luke Skywalker, that's a great minifigure, the training one, and obviously Yoda too. He's he's in the house right there. This this is the swoop bike set from Solo a Star Wars Story. Um the set's okay. I mean like I really like the minifigures. I mean the speeders are okay, but the minifigures are the highlight to me, especially in Fist Nest. She just looks very cool, and to my spec, it looks very cool too. This is the A-Wing from a couple years back. This is a an older set, as you see some of the parts are a little outdated, especially these cannons on the side. I bought, I bought, I picked this up on eBay for about 30 bucks. I thought it was a pretty decent price for this one. So yeah. This is the Anakin Starfighter. You can buy this set. Target Walmart for $20. I thought it was a steal for this set. I mean, like, $20. That's, that, I mean, I, I think that's a very good price. And I, excuse me, when I actually bought it, it was on sale for 16 
so that was even better. This is the droid carrier from episode one, I believe. Um, really, I bought this just so I can get all those battle droids. I mean, I bought this for twenty dollars on eBay. I thought that was a very good price. So yeah, this is the twenty nineteen uh, droid bomber. I think that's what it's called. No, no, the droid gunship. The droid gunship. That's what it's called. The droid gunship. Um, you can buy this at Target or Walmart right now for uh, $50. Sometimes you can find it on sale for $40. This is the 2019 ATAP. I think this is a very, very cool set. Um, much like the one from 2014, but still very cool. This is Han Solo's Land Speeder from Solo, A Star Wars Story. A very cool set. I really like the detail on the inside, but I'll talk about that later. This is the Darth Vader Transformation Chamber. This is a very, very cool set. It was a little hard to build, but you know, it's still, it, it was very much worth it for Sidious and the new and updated version of Darth Vader. This is the Conveyx Transport set. Very, very, very cool. Because of these range troopers, just amazing mini figures, and obviously the new Chewie and the Han Solo look very cool as well. And back here we have a couple battle packs. This one's some sort of first first order battle pack. This is the Bounty Hunter battle pack. This is the Inferno Squad battle pack from Battlefront Two, and this is a little little Jedi thing with the clones. <laughs> But we will show you those minifigures in a second. These right here are minifigures that we have to go with our sets. Nothing really special here. If you want to look at them, you can just find them somewhere on eBay or something. I mean, they're not really that hard to find. Look, there's boss. All right. All right. So, yeah. those. That's our collection for sets right now. But we have one more to show you. Oh, we forgot the Hoff Medical Chamber. Yeah, there it is. It's a very cool set. Um, you can find it at Walmart or Target for about 30 bucks, and, yeah. We have my favorite LEGO Star Wars set ever. This right here is the UCS Slave One. It is just massive. I mean, like, just the amount of time it took to build this, and it was just crazy. It's just... A very good set, two hundred dollars. It's about to retire. I mean, I like. If you want a UCS set, buy this one. This you, you can't go wrong with this. It is just amazing. Just how big it is, and and just how good it looks. It just looks so amazing. It's just beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful model. And we have a couple little promotional minifigures right here. We have the Scarab Stormtrooper with a little. Um, I forgot what this thing is called, but a little skirt thing. We got DJ right here from the uh from the Last Jedi. We have some sort of little Lego Dimensions thing with um the A team. Um we have BA Baracus, I think that's what the name is, but I just remember him as Mr. T from Rocky Three. So here we have it's pretty cool. We also have the Lego ba banana man thing. I bought this on eBay just because it looks super cool. I mean like it's a guy in a banana costume. I mean, like, why not? Super cool. So, there's another movie for you to come with the uh, Slave One. So, that is our collection. So, guys, that was our LEGO Star Wars collection video. I hope you like it. And we're going to be making more videos in the near future. But, I run the weekends because of school. And, it's just, school's just very time-consuming. And, this is a hobby, not a job. So, if you guys would smack that like button. And subscribe. But more importantly, guys, have a great day and peace out.